gonna be installing class three tow hitch. Thanks for watching. Uh, do it yourself. Save some money instead of getting charged by a dealership. Crazy amount of money to install it. You can do it yourself. Most uh, most hitches are the same, especially class threes. Three bolts up assembly on each side. Total of six bolts. They'll give you the hardware. Sometimes there's extra hardware for different applications like key slots and things as such. Main issue can be that you some people have to remove the bumper in order to do it. Some don't. I don't. I like to fish the bolts through and just work them with my hands. It's a little faster than removing the bumper, readjusting the bumper, and working with all that stuff. But here you go. Uh, those of you who don't really work on things much, one thing I really like to do. Alright, got the old hardware out, All right? as you see, it's sitting right there with two bolts, the two bolts I told you about, All right? and old hardware bolt hole, old hardware bolt hole. Now the fishing tool, this is this is the fun part, right, that I kind of find challenging and fun. You have to fish a channel bolt, you have to fish one of these little channel bolts, right, that's what I call them, kind of made the name up. And you have this washer or this lock. And like I said earlier, you got the square fastener. So you have to get this in there first. And you're gonna make sure you get the shortest side forward so it doesn't hang and hit this, right? And then you wanna fish the bolt in. You gotta fish that through these channels here. If you see this, you gotta play with it to get the bolt in there. And then you have to work it with your fingers and get it into the hole. Not only get this lined up over the hole, you want to get this bolt into the hole, right? So, it's a little tough, it's a little challenging in order not to take this bumper off. But I find it so much more worth it. A lot less work, a lot easier. And then I leave these already, that were already installed on the bumper. I leave them in place and I just run the bolts in that came with it. I run the bolts in that came with it through those, right? So I'm going to show you on this side, I took off my gloves for this, <clears throat> let's see if we can get a good video here of it. Alright, so you got to fish this in, into the metal, and it's in, right? And the square is already aligned over the hole, sorry for the bad video, but uh, you gotta play with it and get it in there and get the square line over the hole. And then you gotta fish this other bolt in right here. Right. So there we go, right? Playing with it. Got it in there. Forced it in just like that. Boom.
installed your bolt with the key washer. All right, we're to the point where we're ready for the hardware install. We removed the old bolts. Here's my little helper here for those of you guys who do things on your own like me. You're gonna need something to help you uh, hold it as you put the bolts in, right? Hold the one side. If not, you can grab a neighbor. Me and my neighbor did his the other day. Um, and uh, I helped him out. He came, knocked on the door. Uh, I'm off work though, and everyone's at work, so time to install this alone. <laughs> commercial break permatex anti-seize doesn't have to be permatex joke commercial break because it's permatex but uh anti-seize is important i put anti-seize on all my hardware that i put on the truck because things tend to rust together and fuse the metal together or i guess fuse isn't the right word but they rust together and they get stuck and eat the threads up and messed up the threads hold thread holes this is gonna make it a lot easier to remove it later on down the line when I need to remove it if, if so right so you put anti-seize on your bolts before you install them good trick of the trade Permatex <laughs> so here we go we got everything lined up and uh, as I went over my previous videos if you uh, subscribe to my channels you'll see the uh, most important part of putting things together mechanically I mean it's all easy is the mock-up right so I have all my hardware in everything is mocked up nothing is tight and it makes it easier for you to have space like uh, as you see there's space in between the frame in there and it gets it it makes it easier for you to install the bolts these little fasteners and things and get them in place you want to get everything in place and lined up first before you start to tighten it down because if you tighten everything down then you're gonna get to a bolt where it's not aligned and you can't get that bolt in and you can't move or shimmy anything right so you get all that in place and then you get to mock your your hitch up right so you see I banged it around until I got it lined up and she's dead center so Kurt, Kurt makes a good product and uh, it lined up fairly easy, very simple, not much moving around, not much banging and twisting, I didn't have to grind or cut anything which is great. Another good thing about these Kirk hitches is that they're very low profile, you see how close it sticks to the bumper, it's barely noticeable and that's what it loose. When I tighten it up it's going to hang a lot higher, it's going to pull up about a quarter of an inch and uh, be very low profile. And you're not going to be really able to tell that I have a hitch in place. But <clears throat> anyway, yeah, like I go over on these videos, things like mocking up are uh, good engineering practices, good practices to have, right? Things like using NICs. I bought NICs. You can buy it at AutoZone for like 3 or $4. It's going to make life easier for you when you go to remove things like this later on down the line. And, uh, Lining your bolts up, NICs, hardware, right? Lining your hardware up, getting to know what you have. Now, you have extra spacers for different applications because remember, these hitches aren't made 
specifically just for this vehicle, which is why I was saying go over the instruction for your vehicle. And my vehicle told me exactly what to install, right? And it told me what hardware to reuse. Then you take the old hardware out, install what you need to install, and go from there. But now I'm going to tighten them down, get everything taut, and torque it down. I'm going to torque it using my torque wrench. Uh, here it says 126 foot pounds to the half inch fasteners, I mean to the uh, M14 fasteners, and then to the half inch fasteners, 110 right if you uh, don't have a torque wrench I recommend using German torque which is good and tight you just tighten it up good and tight get it in there these are grade 8 bolts grade 8 fasteners I doubt you're gonna strip them um, just tighten them down really tight and you have these locking nuts like I was saying a lot of the locking hardware is gonna lock in place and make sure it doesn't vibrate off so you don't have to go buy a torque wrench just to install this I'd recommend just tighten it down as tight as you can and Call it a day. Sweet, well there it is. All right, installed, hitch installed, easy bolt on. Like I said, uh, I usually take videos. I go on YouTube, find videos, find multiple videos, take bits and pieces here and there, learn about it, and uh, fabricate my own thing. So hopefully this video was able to help you. If it did, please like. Uh, I'll be posting a lot more videos so you could hit subscribe if you like to subscribe to my channel and share all the videos do it yourself like I always say save money and do it yourself why well, pay someone else to do something you can do right some as simple as three bolts tools and materials you're gonna need wrenches and ratchets the ones that match your bolt size simple and an understanding of what you're doing so hopefully this video helped understand how simple it is to install a tow hitch class 3 tow hitch other classes same thing and wiring video is to follow it will be posted up on the right or the left here and I'll post a wiring video right after this so we can install the wiring and get the wiring for your trailer or whatever you're pulling but very simple hopefully you guys enjoyed the video please hit like like I always say, save money, do it yourself.